Hello there, my very special friends. It is Ash here from Well Played. And today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I have been playing LEGO 2K Drive and it's really cool. Uh, the review is in progress and it will come out as soon as I feel like I've played enough of the game to really give my impressions. Uh, spoiler alert, so far it's good unless there's a sting in the tail that, I don't know, reveals that it was a Mega Bloks game the whole time. But what I'm going to be showing you is a little clip of some building that I've been doing. So let's crack on. Now, Within the game, obviously, you can go into the garage basically anytime, and you can customize the cars that you're driving, or perhaps even make a whole new creation. In this particular case, I have reached a point in the story where I'm doing a lot of water-related driving, and, uh, I mean, it's not really driving, is it? Boating? I'm doing a lot of floating. And the main gimmick of the game is that your vehicle changes depending on the surface you're on, going from road, sort of tarmac kind of surfaces, to off-road and dirt, and obviously wet stuff, the water. And I realized that I've spent a lot of time creating both my Roadster, which is a fantastic pink car that my daughter helped me create, so I'll show that to you at some point, and an absolutely fantastic well-played wagon, which again, I'm gonna showcase at some point, whether it's a screenshot or just something that appears in the uh, review when it comes out. But I realized that I was still doing the standard boat because I hadn't done a lot of water racing. So I decided to jump in and basically see, could I create something from scratch? And this is what I was working with. At first, I was thinking of creating like a swamp boat, like one of those big jet boats that have like the uh, the giant fan at the back of it. And then I realized that there's a racer in the story that literally gives you one of those. So all I'd really be doing is reinventing the uh, giant fan wheel. So I decided to go for something that looks like it's straight out of a Batman movie. And the kind of thing that I decided here is that this is going to be the first vehicle I create that does not have a driver or driver's seat in it. All the other vehicles I've created, I've specifically had a seat, I've had a steering wheel, and you can put your driver into the car as it was intended to be like something's being you know in charge of the wheel but you don't have to it's not mandatory so technically you could create a car that's just you know four different colored bricks which they have actually done and just go to town so i decided how about i create something wholly enclosed and try and do something neat with the windshield you can see me giving it a test i'm happy with how it looks and how it seems to sort of behave on the water a previous car that i put together i eventually test uh, gave it the test drive and it looked terrible. It was so back heavy. I couldn't actually see the road properly and it just felt weird. So I had to turf all that. But here's me getting into the zone. I've decided this really cool sort of canopy bit at the front is going to serve as my windscreen because the painting system allows you to choose a brick and just you can make it transparent. You can make it metallic. You can make it a flat color. And more importantly, you can make things that glow as well. So I thought, well, how about I'll just do a flat brick? That will be my windscreen. There doesn't have to be someone in there. This can look like some kind of crazy robot boat. I don't mind, but it'll look like one of the sort of Cylon screens. It won't be animated, but it will be glowing. I also have those ridiculous sort of... Uh, <laughs> the giant propeller fans that came on like the 90s Lego. Do you remember the undersea sets? They were sick. They came out during the time when there was like orange transparent chainsaws, which I've yet to find that piece in the game, but when I do, I'm going to go absolutely nuts for it. Then what do I put on the back of my boat? boosters tons of them just i'm going to basically put cool things that i can put paint on and massive things to look like either smokestacks or giant exhausts i'm also trying to streamline it i'm trying to make this thing look like the uh, front of an arrowhead now those red bricks i just placed on there they're actually really cool because they are conditional bricks you can actually choose what they do and when in this case these ones will glow red but only when i'm boosting so they're like conditional lights that turn on when i'm doing something rad okay now painting my daughter's sitting on my lap the whole time I'm making this, and the entire time that this thing is white, she's just saying, it's so boring, can we change it? Initially, I said, how about we make it black and red? She sort of said, not really, that sounds boring, Daddy. Fair enough, her word is gospel. So I thought, how about hues of blue and some gold? And this is me slapping it together. Now, of course, I thought the gold should be metallic. I also went back on the idea of having gold propellers. It just felt weird. Some glowing bricks for what would be my boosters. And I've got something that looks something like a 90s Lego set. I thought about stickers, you know, hazard stripes, is that cool, is that edgy? Gave it a crack. Obviously, I hit the water and went absolutely bananas, thought I was having a great time. It seems to perform well, but at the same time, I'm not really building to create things that perform in a certain way, I'm just still having fun. Uh, a lot of my races are by the skin of my teeth, and that's fine, I don't mind. But you can see this thing looks pretty stellar when it's moving, and it took me 20 minutes to make. Once you understand the snap build mechanics within LEGO, you can go mental. It is a solid title, and 
make sure to keep your eyes peeled to wellplay.com.au for the full review when it drops, and maybe even another video where I showcase how I made my daughter's rainbow racer. Until next time, keep building and stay awesome. I love you.